Okay, so we're gonna try this again with a different silver. So I didn't have that much of my other silver left to even try to attempt it. So now we're using a different silver. We are going to be using Craft Smart Premium Ultra Bright Metallic Silver in Bright Silver. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, and I really didn't, uh, I didn't mean to do that. And I really didn't mix up that much. So, um, but we're going to do the same, pretty much the same, same thing. All the colors are staying the same. Woo! Okay. okay there we go. Sorry, you guys. Um, yeah. So anyway, all the colors are staying the same except for the silver. The silver color is changing, but pretty much I would get paint all over my hands whenever I'm supposed to go help my mother-in-law sell jewelry tonight. Yay! Oops. I have to scrub. Oh well. I had art to work on. She can understand, I hope. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to, I'm basically going to do it the same way I did the last one. Like I said, the only difference is the silver. And normally when I do the same colors, I would use, especially when I want to do like the same technique, I would use the same cup, but this time I'm going to use a new cup because I'm afraid of any remnants that's left in the old cup might affect this pour. I don't want to chance it. So. When this other cup dries out, I'll peel everything and wash it and life will be good. Mm. And when I talk about washing my stuff, I don't wash it in my sink. I have a five gallon bucket that I put hot water in and Dawn dish soap and I wash everything in that. I rinse it in another five gallon bucket and then I have a dish strainer in our spare bathroom. <clears throat> I just keep everything in the tub. So until we have company coming over. Well, then we just close skirt. But anyway, so that's how I do it. And then I have a contraption that my husband helped build me. It's out by what will eventually become my studio when we build it. Uh, we'll put walls up. <laughs> and he, my husband builds it for me. But, and I dispose of the water and basically I just let it evaporate. But anyway, I actually have a video on that if you guys are interested. So when I talk about washing stuff, just know I'm not actually like washing it in my sink. So, all right, let's do this.
silver. The fresh silver obviously like did way better. Um, I love and hate this at the same time. So, um, yeah, I know I poured off like a bunch of cells. I got to paying attention to one side and not the other, and then yeah, I, I that's probably like my worst habit when I'm pouring. Um, not really gonna trip out about it. I don't like all the white in the middle. Um, which is fine. Uh, kind of the same effect as the last one. Although I do, on the last one, I do have like some that just swoops in on the white. And the last pour I did of this one, or that's not, the last pour I did using the same technique, I did the same thing. I, I left the white in the middle and I just layered the blues on the outside with the yellows and this turned out so I didn't get like so much white in the middle and I'm sure that was you know more tilting and stuff like that but I didn't want to lose all these cells so I was like eh I'll just leave it with the white in the middle so in case you guys are wondering that's how that one dried it pretty much dried uh the same that's in the video so but it's still wet so I'm really excited about that um and the strike pour that I did, uh, it pretty much dried. Like, it dried the same as well. The only thing I'm not too happy about is I added the dark, I added the purple over here. I tried to get this to just, like, pop off the side, and it just, it was done flowing for me. So I was like, yeah, alright, whatever. But, um, it's, this is going to be perfect for, um, the background. <laughs> Finally got it. I finally got the background, you guys. <laughs>